This example is about non uniform pressure and we are going to model it as using plant stress. From this particular example, so we are going to determine the maximum stress of the dam using a pagus. So given that the dimension of the dam is as follow. So for this particular example, we may model A, B, C, D as a full model or we can model it as a symmetric between the vertical y axis. So the Young modulus and the portion ratio of the dam is given as well. First, we are going to model it using 2D planner, deformable, and also using shell and the approximate size about 100. First step is to model and sketch the dimension, uh, sorry, sketch the dam of symmetric layer in vertical axis. So for this particular example, we are going to draw it from the origin. So next, we are going to constrain the lower left end to fix it. This is because once we specify the dimension, we must make sure the lower end Sorry, the lower left end is not moving to anywhere. Therefore, we need to fix the lower left end as shown here. So, after then, the next step is to specify the dimension of the dam. So, in this case, so you may see it, the lower left end is not moving anywhere and it is draw it from its origin. So the next step is to delete the fixed point. After we delete it, the model is shown on the right. Then we are going to click done. For the material part, so we are going to use elastic and the mechanical and elasticity. So we are going to specify the young modulus and the portion ratio as given. Then we are going to click continue. Okay, so the next step is to assign the section assignment. Double click on the section assignment, select the whole model, and click done. After that, edit section assignment window will appear where we are going to click the I, which is boxed up in red. So the next is to create the solid and the homogeneous and we click continue and the edit section window will appear here. So we are going to take the plan stress or strength with the thickness of one unit and we click OK. So the next step is to finalize the type and the material from the previous slide. Then we are going to click OK and the dam is up here on your screen if everything is properly defined. So double click on the instances and the instance window will be appear on your screen. In this particular part, we are going to select independent rather than dependent. This is because the pressure we are selecting is non-uniform. After that, we are going to click OK and the dam will display in your screen with this color. Since the model is drawn in the origin, the local coordinate is displayed at the origin. So this is because at Earlier, we fixed our lower left end point and we draw it from the origin, else, it will draw it in any other places rather than the origin. For the boundary condition, first, we are going to select the symmetry 
and the we are going to select the horizontal axis and the horizontal axis does not move anyway and we are going to select and caster this is because the dam is located above the ground and the dam will not going to move in any direction after that we are going to click ok so the next con the boundary condition is the symmetry which is on the vertical axis so we are going to select the vertical axis and we are going to select X symmetry. This is because the dam will not move in any horizontal direction. So therefore, X symmetry is selected and followed by OK. Once everything is properly defined, so this will be appear on your window. So the next step is to create a step. So in this case, so we are going to use general and static is general and click continue and the edit step window will appear on your screen and we are going to click continue so the next step is to create partition so click on the tools on the menu bar and click partition and the create partition window will appear select edge for the type and select midpoint for the methods then we are going to select the slope line why we are going to use create partition because when we model our dam so we this line is one straight horizontal line so therefore we are going to split it into two different line by using partition methods the next is to click on the midpoint and click the create partition after that a, a yellow dot will appear on your screen so in this case the, the slope line will be divided into two different lines so the next step is to create lots so in this case we are going to select pressure and we select the lower line as shown in the red arrow and we are going to click done after that edit load window will appear so we are going to select the fx and the create analytic curve window will appear you may rename it as pressure in this case so I am going to use analytical field 1 and we are going to click continue after that create expansion field window will appear so since we are going to create non-uniform pressure so we are we need to enter the equation in this box but we need to give calculate what is the equation as we know the pressure is H pro G where the pro is the density of the water and the G is the gravity and the H is the height of the water as we know for at the water level the pressure is zero as the water level go in going that until the base line so the pressure is maximum so First, we need to know the y coordinate of the water level. What is the y coordinate? So, as the dam is draw it from the origin, as you can see from the lower left end, so therefore, the y coordinate will be referring to that particular reference point. In this case, so our y coordinate can be easily determined from the abacus first we are going to click to query after that the query window will appear on your screen so we are going to select the point or nodes so select the midpoint and click done so 
the select the midpoint is mean that we are going to select the midpoint of the slope which is you are defining earlier after that the coordinate of the midpoint which is number three and we'll show it on your screen so you will realize that 13.75 is the x direction 14.5236 is the coordinate at y direction and z is equal to zero so we know that the coordinate of when the what at the water level of the y direction is 14.5236 as we know the equation is h pro g so the pro is 1000 the g is 9.81 and the h is 14.5236 six double egg minus y y minus y as the water level go depth so the y from the origin the distant y from the origin to that particular reference point will be that value so for example if i want to measure the water level at the lowest point so it mean that the y is equal to zero if I want to know what is the pressure at the water level surface, the y will be equal to 14.5236 double A. So therefore, we are going to put the equation in the box here. So pro is 1000, g is 9.81, and the h is 14.5236 double A minus y. After that, we click okay so the edit load window will appear on your screen again so we are going to select the distribution as a analytical field once and the magnitude is one because in the equation we specify the hash pro g then after that we click okay then in your window so do you see the pressure is going bigger and bigger at the slope line after that we are going to mesh our model with under instances after that we are going to click seed instance and the global seed window will appear so in this case so i'm going to mesh it as a global size of 0.5 or you guys can mesh according to the element size for each particular line. After that, we are going to mesh the instant and click yes and the mesh element is appear on your screen. The next step is to create the jobs and submit the model to perform analysis after the job is completed you may view the result the first result is warm misses stress okay so you will realize that the gray color is the original or i can say undeformed and the color scale is deformed the next I'm going to show you is the displacement. Click on the field output and after that select the field edge and click OK and the field output window will appear so we are going to select the displacement at not and click OK. After that the magnitude of the displacement will appear on your screen. So you will realize that the element mesh is not appear on this displacement because we are selecting the free edge okay so this is the end of this tutorial thank you